This is the free motion quilting tutorial for Cyber Echo. This design is stitched by first starting with a straight line, then stitch a circle, and then about a quarter of an inch before you hit that full circle, you just stitch a straight line down to create kind of a large lollipop on a stick. And then you're just going to travel stitch and echo around that, just stitching right around that. This is an echoing design. So we're just trying to maintain a set distance between the, all the lines of quilting. And in this situation, it's between an eighth of an inch and a quarter of an inch. And you can see that I'm just expanding that kind of lollipop on a stick design and going to swirl around and then create another one kind of branching off in another direction. This is a very, very simple design. And the inspiration for it actually came from a movie. Uh, the movie Tron had a lot of this kind of design, this kind of circle and um, graphic uh, straight lines and sharp angles all mixed together. And it was really, really interesting when I saw that. I decided I would simply have to go home and try and stitch a version of it on a quilt. And this is what I came up with. And it's really fun to mix straight lines and circles together because you always get a really interesting texture. And adding the echoes to that, just simply travel stitching and echoing around that shape multiple times, means that that design's going to stand out that much better. And it's going to expand and cover more surface area on your quilt. So you can see that this shape in particular is getting quite large and a little unwieldy, so I'm going to create another one branching off down this direction. And you can already see that this is not a design that's really tiny. It's a design that wants to be big. It wants to expand. Those circles in particular, the bigger you stitch them to start with, the bigger your motif is going to be, the bigger the design's going to be. So really, this is going to be a great design to stitch on a larger scale. So start with a straight line and a lollipop that are around four inches. And then make sure that you have at least an inch between all those lines of echo quilting. And that's going to be a perfect size for a bed quilt. So here you can see I've kind of jumped ahead with the design and I'm filling in this little tight area. The biggest thing with small tight areas like this is just try and keep the design consistent. Try to keep the lines of quilting evenly spaced. Uh, so fill in and keep travel stitching and keep everything consistent with what you stitched before. It's a little tricky to get used to, but uh, even just simply stitching straight lines into this area, that would make sense and it would keep the design looking normal. And here's what it looks like whenever you finish Cyber Echo. For over 350 videos on free motion quilting, plus many tools and supplies to make this easier on your home sewing machine, check out freemotionproject.com.